Hey guys, welcome to uh, this video. I hope you are doing great. I wanted to comment and expand a little bit on the topic of uh, study techniques, uh, which I mentioned in my previous learning Japanese video. Of course, any studying you're doing, uh, learning a new language is uh, beneficial, but there might be a couple of things. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, go ahead and jump in. In the previous video I talked about output and one example I gave was that when I read something, if it's uh, studying vocabulary or if I'm doing some exercises, when I read the text in the new language I try to read it out uh, loud to myself. Uh, I find that many times uh, I think in my head what I want to say and either <laughs> The, it takes very long time before I can say it uh, or when I try to say it, it doesn't sound like I had imagined in my head. So I think uh, reading out loud it will help uh, with this. Another example I uh, mentioned was uh, shadowing and I was uh, referring to that uh, I would follow the dialogue of some audio or video material. Let's say you are watching your favorite anime and you just uh, try to uh, follow the dialogue and repeat uh, what the characters are saying. Uh, so that is what I'm referring to when, when mentioning shadowing. I think it's a, a good technique that will, uh, will help a lot. In the beginning it can feel quite awkward to speak the new language. Uh, we feel we sound like Tarzan. Uh, I'm Tarzan, you Jane. But uh, we have to overcome uh, the embarrassment and not being perfect. Uh, um, so as soon as you uh, learn a few words, uh, then start to use it. Uh, learn a few common uh, verbs first, like uh, go, drink, eat. Uh, uh, then uh, maybe add a few nouns, uh, uh, coffee, beer, uh, house, hotel, uh, train and whatnot. Then uh, build on that with a few uh, question words like uh, where, what, how much and so on. Then you have a, a, a good foundation to start to speak. I go drink coffee. Batashi ikimas nomemas kohi, or I go Tokyo train. Batashi ikimas uh, Tokyo densha. Uh, something like that. Start to use uh, <laughs> what you already know, uh, even if it's only a few words. And when you uh, get the chance to speak to to people who knows the language natively and you get the reaction back, it feels quite uh, rewarding and this uh, motivates you to keep on studying. With all these uh, modern technologies available today, like video conferencing and whatnot, uh, you probably want to find the language buddy for some language exchange. Uh, I'm sure if you Google you will find such services offered uh, as free or for as paid services and I think this would be a valuable addition to your uh, other resources uh, while learning the new language. Another thing that I mentioned uh, in the previous video was that I took Japanese classes uh, while working and living in Japan before. Uh, during one of those courses I made uh, short videos with uh, uh, simple Japanese dialogue together with a friend and a colleague. Uh, and our intention was, uh, well, practicing of course uh, Japanese but also for our teacher to review the dialogue and help us uh, correct our mistakes. So I think that is also a, a good way of uh, uh, judging how, how you are doing with, uh, with your new language. Uh, record yourself if it's audio or video. You don't have to publish it on your social media or, or something like that but uh, 
Try to record yourself and, and listen to how you sound. These short videos uh, that I talked about, I will upload them again to this uh, channel and you can see them as an example of what you could do. Um, I, you don't have to watch all of them. I have re-edited them a little bit so they are more to the point and so on. And remember those dialogues are are not corrected so they may contain uh, a little bit of uh, mistakes here and there uh, anyway i think uh, this was it for uh, this time uh, thank you for watching and i hope i see you in the next video